Welcome back to the Southeastern Sports Report presented by State Farm. We've talked a lot about senior cornerback Robert Alford throughout the year and all the tremendous accomplishments he received wearing the green and gold. Well, this past weekend, he was down in Mobile, Alabama for the Senior Bowl. Let's see how he did. Southeastern Louisiana's Robert Alford returned the opening kickoffs 88 yards to set up an early touchdown while adding an interception on a two-point conversion late to help the South claim a 21-16 victory over the North in the 63rd Annual Senior Bowl on Saturday at Ladd People Stadium in Mobile, Alabama. Alford, the second line to play in the nation's top college all-star game, capped off a solid week competing against some of the nation's best players and continued his goal of being selected in the upcoming NFL Draft. The Hammond native became the first line to play in the game since legendary linebacker Ronnie Hornsby returned an interception in the 1971 game. Alford will now train for the upcoming NFL Combine to be held at Lucas Oil Field in Indianapolis February 20th through the 26th. A tremendous performance by Robert Alford, and we expect him to go high in the upcoming NFL Draft. And also, another note about football is senior linebacker Devin Walker was also invited to play in the Texas versus the Nation All-Star Game. Congratulations to Devin and all he did here for Southeastern. We wish you the best of luck playing in the Texas versus the Nation All-Star Game. Your cheer and dance teams were on the road down in Disney World for the national competition. Let's check out the action. The Southeastern Louisiana University cheer and dance squads brought home silver and bronze medals from the 2013 UCA UDA College Cheerleading and Dance Team National Championships, which wrapped up last week at the ESPN Wide World of Sports Complex. And the ladies are very excited about their accomplishments. I was just hoping that what we did was good enough for the judges and all of our hard work would pay off, and it did. And I was so excited that we did get second and third and it was just all of our hard work has paid off. It was a lot of hard work, a lot of hours, a lot of sweat, a lot of pain, but um, the outcome was really good. We got third, so we're really proud of that. Competing in the small co-ed Division I category, the Southeastern cheerleaders marked their second consecutive entrance into the finals in the enviable position of first place. Settling for third nationally, a huge feat for the Lady Lions. Oh, I had the time of my life. It was so much fun. Um, we worked really, really hard to get to where we were, and um, I couldn't have done it without my team and my coaches. It really is a memory that I'll cherish forever. It was the most incredible feeling of my entire life. Like, honestly, it was one of those, I can't believe all of our hard work paid off, especially jumping from semis to finals. It was such a large difference in our scores. We were just ecstatic. The Lionettes, Southeastern's dance team, plays second in the hip-hop competition and third in jazz dance. Coached by Paige Laparouse, the Lionettes improved their final ranking in both events over their 2012 finish. It's a great experience because they, you get the opportunity, like, you know, all year long you only know Southeastern in this community in Hammond, and you don't really get, get to see what other universities are doing. So it's like the one time that you can see all the other universities, big, small, what they do, their traditions that they have, and it's just a great experience for my kids to see that what they're doing, everybody else is doing as well. Southeastern finished behind Hofstra in the hip-hop competition and behind Cal State Fullerton and Hofstra in the Jazz Finals. Videos of Southeastern's performances can be found at uca.varsity.com. Television coverage provided on a tape-delayed basis will be provided by the ESPN family of networks. Congratulations to the cheer and dance programs for those impressive performances they had in Disney World for the national competition. We also want to congratulate Ms. Paige Laparouse for all that she does for our programs here at Southeastern Louisiana University. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to hear from senior forward of men's basketball, Roe Johnson, right here on the Southeastern Sports Report presented by State Farm. State Farm, this is Jessica. Hey, Jessica. It's Jerry Newman. Jerry, how are you doing? Fine. I just got a little fender bender. You know, it's funny. It only took 15 minutes to sign up with that new auto insurance company, but it's taken a lot longer to hear back. Oh, Jerry, I'm so sorry. I would love to help, but remember you dropped us last month. I miss you, Jessica. Jerry, are you crying? No, I just, I bit my tongue. Count on Joe Skibinski in Baton Rouge. Get to a better state. State Farm. Bud Light, for the fans who do whatever it takes. Here we go. 